Uh, hello, I'm John Pleasance and I'm co-president of Disney Interactive. Hi John, can you explain what Disney Infinity is all about? Sure. Disney Infinity is our new interactive gaming platform that allows our guests to play with their favorite Disney characters without limits. Now, how did this project come about? This project came about actually from many different people inside Disney Interactive and around the Disney company working together to come up with what we think is a very big and special and magical idea. Um, we launched, in the early days, we launched a game called Toy Story 3 that had some what we call sandbox gameplay opportunities or unstructured uh, uh, gameplay opportunities for, for our users. And it got a lot of critical acclaim and it got a lot of very positive feedback from, from, the, from the folks who played that game. We wanted to build on that. We thought it was something special and unique. And uh, anyone who knows gaming now in the marketplace knows that a lot of that freeform gameplay is extremely popular. Um, so that was one part. But we also wanted to do things that were uniquely Disney. We wanted to be able to leverage IP from Disney, both past, present, and future uh, in this game. And we wanted to do something that had never been done before. And we think we've done that here with the ability for people to both play within the worlds of their favorite characters or bring those characters into a place where they can create a world for them. Can you explain how closely Disney and the game developer worked on this project? Well, this, it, this is this is built inside by us. By the studio Avalanche is an own studio. Uh, this is a, this game is largely developed inside. We have partners, of course, as any uh, game developer does, working on big AAA titles. Um, but we are we are doing this primarily within the, the the walls of Disney. Now, gaming scene is very popular inside Pixar. How has this helped with these game collaborations? Well, I think it's helped a lot. We've, we've focused a lot of our game development with Pixar characters in this one studio in the past. So they've made Cars 2, they made Toy Story 3. There's a history of the Avalanche studio working with Pixar in close collaboration. This concept was a very new concept, and we had to, we had to come up with an architecture. And that doesn't just mean technical, that means actually a creative architecture that would allow us to bring these characters together for the very first time. And uh, John Lasseter himself, as well as many of, uh, many, many of the leaders at Pixar, were extremely involved in how that would work, how to design the game so that it was true to property, as well as created this magic uh, mixing that I'm talking about. Everything down to the art style of the physical toys that are involved in this game so that there's consistency across them. Just look at things like height as an example. We can look at height consistency across all of our various characters. But, there's a, and it, but with a stylized look that seems extremely appropriate for this kind of game, but also allows each character to be true to its own property. We see even Hollywood licensed games move away from recapping films and expanding to prequels, sequels, and original stories. How does Infinity fit into this world? Well, look, I, th I think Disney certainly, in the past, uh, we have made games that have tied directly to storylines of movies uh, when they're launching. Um, we've tried to move a little bit away from that strategy. There's, there's obviously some constraints when you're, when, you're when you're building a game that's tied to a specific storyline, and you can't get that storyline uh, until what I'm going to call a little bit late in the game, so you don't have enough time to make quality the, the, the absolute mandate. You can compromise in the game, and that can that can ultimately have you not achieve the result that you want. So we stepped back from this, you know, very clearly, and said, "Look, it's great gameplay first. This has to be great gameplay. It has to be true to property, and it does not need to be tethered to any one specific movie release or any one specific movie storyline." We've expanded. A great example of that would be looking at Monsters U and what's going on with Fear Tech, which is the rival university that we're introducing in this game. There's a whole storyline there that is not part of the Monsters U movie, even though this is a game that is launching reasonably in the same time frame as Monsters U the movie. So it's additive, not just, not just drafting off.